Hi, this is Rafiq Suleiman, and you are watching Cloud Simplified. Hi, everyone, and welcome to another lesson from the Cloud Practitioner Express. And in this lesson, we'll be talking about two messaging services, SQS and SNS. But before talking about these messaging services, let's understand the concept. If we're talking about application design, we used to design application in a monolithic way. Monolithic design means my application is designed as a single entity, as a single code. So if one component inside this application fails, the complete application will fail because they are part of the same code. That's number one. And number two, what if I want to scale only one component? This was not possible because again, all of the applications are part of the same code. And that's why right now what we're doing, we are going through microservices. And what is the microservice concept very simply? The microservices concept is I will take this big monolithic application and I will break it down into smaller pieces, into smaller components or into smaller microservices. So for example, if one component fails, the other components are still working fine. My application didn't fail. And also every component is independent. So I can work on a component, I can program it in a certain programming language, for example, I can have a separate team responsible for each and every component. And if I want to scale, for example, component number one, I can only scale this part without the need to scale the other components as well. And that's from the high level, the concept of microservices. So in this lesson, Talking about messaging services, we're going to explain how these microservices are talking together, are sending messages between each other. So let me take this scenario. Imagine the case of an e-commerce application. And let's say I will break down my e-commerce application, let's say into two components. One component called the ordering part, and that's the part that is receiving orders from my clients and another part of my application, which will be my shipping part. And that's the part responsible after receiving orders so that I start working on packaging and shipping this application to my end users. Let's see the challenge here. Imagine if these two components are synchronized together. So every time I receive an order, I immediately send the order to the shipping application. What might happen here? Let's see. So I receive the first order and then I send it immediately. Second user comes, she is placing another order and then I send it immediately. Third user, I send it immediately. Fourth user and then user number five. Now what happens? In order for me to place orders, placing orders might take few seconds, but working and preparing on packaging and shipping might take time. So if every time I received an order, I immediately send this order to my shipping application, my shipping application might be overwhelmed and then it might completely go out of service. So what's the solution here? The solution here very simply is to implement in between these two components, something called a queue. So whenever a new user comes and place an order, now the order will be placed in the queue and then all the other orders are going to be placed in the queue. And then the shipping application will go and will pull. Pull means to check in the queue. So do I have any new orders that I need to process? Then yes, there is one order. It will work on the first order and then prepare and deliver the order and then it will delete this order completely from the queue and then goes and work on the second, the third and the fourth order. So by introducing this messaging service called SQS 
or simple queuing service in between two components of my microservices, now I can protect my components from being overwhelmed from one component to overwhelm the other one. And that's exactly is the use of the queue in between these two components and that's SQS. So what are the characteristics of SQS? So SQS, as we have seen in the previous example, it will receive and then it will store and then it will send the messages when the consumer is polling. So when the consumer will go and pull the queue, then the SQS will send the message to the consumer. And then SQS is queuing the messages. And now the good news, even if the consumer is not available. Remember when we talked about if one component fails, my application will not completely fail. So for example, if I have a problem in my shipping application, I can still receive orders, right? I can still receive orders and all the orders, none of these orders is going to be wasted because all the orders are kept in the queue. And once the shipping application is going to be back online, it will go and pull the queue and then receive and it will start processing the orders. And finally, this kind of queuing, it helps in implementing, this is the key word for the exam, in implementing what we call loose coupling or what we call decoupling. So in the exam, if you got any question related to how do I implement loose coupling or how do I implement decoupling from the services, please think about SQS and the queuing service. And then the final service for this lesson is what we call SNS. And SNS very simply stands for simple notification service. And this is if you want to send a certain notification, like an email, an email, for example, or an SNS every time you place an order. How does it work? It works in this way. We have someone called the publisher and then you create something called the topic. And every time this publisher is sending something to the topic, now anyone who has subscribed to this topic is going to immediately receive his message. So if you remember the SQS worked in a model called polling, so the consumer needs to go and poll SNS works on something called pub sub or publisher and subscriber. So what are the characteristics of SNS? SNS sends notification and the keyword in your exam here, if you saw something related to email or SMS, if you saw something related to how can I send email notifications or SMS notifications, always think about SNS. And SNS messages will be published to a certain topic. And then you need subscribers to subscribe to this topic. And once subscribers are subscribed to a certain topic, whenever the publisher is sending any message, subscribers will receive the message immediately. They don't need to pull. That's the difference between SNS and between SQS. So with this, I hope this is now clear SQS and SNS. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next lesson.